In about an hour from now, Congressman Ron Paul will wind down his Iowa campaign attending the Rock the Caucus event at a West Des Moines high school. The congressman's son, Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky, was out on the stump Monday whipping up the crowds for his father. Anthony Terrell is an NBC News campaign embed, and he got the chance to sit down with Senator Paul. And, you know, Anthony, you know, my theory on this has yeah. been this is just the beginning of Paul presidential campaigns that we may see him over the next four and eight years. That's right. Uh, Rand Paul defended his dad's chances of being electable. You know, many of the Republican rivals say Ron Paul is not electable. Well, he defended it against that in my interview with him yesterday. Talking about a third party is a little premature when you're leading the field for the GOP primary. So I think when you're leading and you have a chance of winning the GOP nomination, it'd be a little premature to talk about anything else. It's interesting to me, though, that he says premature. Right. You know, and, and boy, Ron Paul, is this a leverage that they're looking for with the inside the Republican Party so they're not marginalized going to the convention? I think so. Uh, Ron Paul wants his message uh, to be out there with the Republican, uh, whoever the eventual Republican nominee is. Rand Paul thinks it'll be his dad. And he says he has an eventual path to the nomination uh, because of uh, their large pool of donors. He says they have hundreds of thousands of small donors who can give more than once. And he also compared his dad's campaign yeah. to that of President Obama's in 2008. Because they have this caucus. You've been chronicling this or reporting right. on it. They have this caucus strategy, and we know That's February, right. the, there's a very few contests, two big primaries at the end of the month, but right. there are a bunch of caucuses. That's right. And, you know, Romney hasn't been as good at organizing, and we know St. Torm's just starting. Right. So uh, the campaign manager, Jesse Benton, says they have 12 additional states they're already organized in, yeah. and they're looking at uh, caucus states because that's where their grassroots supporters can, will, will come in and really support Ron Paul. How big, you know, you, you were telling this to me off camera. You had said that Rand Paul really has sort of of rock star status in the in Paul world. That's right. Is that right? That's right. When Rand Paul comes up, he gets a huge standing ovation. And remember, he was that Tea Party darling in 2010. And he reminded me that his dad started the Tea Party in 2007. So he said that organization is coming together. It helped him in 2010. And he thinks it'll help his dad this year in 2012. But we're seeing this because of the anti-war, anti-interventionist rhetoric. Right. It seems to be he's lost a little bit of that Tea Party ground, hasn't he? That's right. He uh, Rand Paul came out and said his dad is the one candidate the soldiers trust. And he said, these guys put their lives on the line. They're donating to his father more than double any other, all the other candidates combined. And he said they want Ron Paul to be the commander in chief. So he's really defending his dad's foreign policy, anti-war stance. And he thinks the voters are on his side. Interesting. Anthony Terrell. Catch up with Rand Paul. Not yeah. the easiest uh, interview. Yeah, it was good. Fine. I'm good glad stuff. he did. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for Thanks, uh, being Jeff. on the trail. All right.